This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. And really, this is a call for help. Because I've covered this before. All of you are familiar with this sad, sad story, which continues to just get promoted in the mainstream media like it's wonderful news. And now we have Converse, Converse Shoes, employing this 11-year-old in its new Pride product line. You can't make it up. Now, there's two stories that are going on at the same time. One is that this has now come out, that Converse is promoting this child and its new Pride line. But at the same time, stories are coming out that people are just calling child services over and over to report the parents. And that is a wonderful thing. Because as much as the mainstream media wants to tell you that this is wonderful and great, there's still people out there who are aware that this is wrong and this is deplorable. And I'm talking about Desmond is amazing. You might remember the story where they rolled him out on Good Morning America and just it was an absolute abomination beyond words. The kid who's been going to local dive bars and dancing for men, having grown men throw money at them, and people don't seem to have a problem with this this day and age because everybody's accepting of everything and tolerant of all. Well, now Converse has their new product line, and the drag kid Desmond is a spokesperson for Converse. The 11-year-old known as Desmond is Amazing is now a model for a shoe company. The Converse footwear company, once known for its fashionable high-top basketball shoes, has announced a new partnership with Desmond Naples and five other individuals connected with the LGBTQ community to market its new Pride collection. And wait until I show you the Pride collection, because what a surprise that it's just satanic symbols. It's the same thing we saw with Celine Dion's gender-neutral product line which featured pentagrams, lightning bolts, and all the same symbols that I exposed, symbols of the occult, which are mainstream symbols where I guess everybody's supposed to believe that everyone just loves lightning storms. I mean, these people are running outside, I guess, because, you know, with, with baseball bats when the lightning storms hit because they can't get close enough to the lightning. Or at least that would be a nice resolution to the problem in today's world. It says the announcement accompanied a photograph of Desmond dressed in a colorful shoulder-bearing outfit. I mean, this is an 11-year-old. Good grief. Shoulder-bearing outfit and heavy makeup. And it's a boy. Posing suggestively before the five other models. Anything wrong with that? It's only an 11-year-old boy posing suggestively. And this is supposed to be for shoes, for basketball, high tops? You gotta be kidding me, right? I mean, pass the barf bag. Publishing the news on Twitter, Converse said, We're happy to launch our Pride collection, partnering with six individuals connected to the community. The LGBTQ community, that is. Well, of course they are. Of course they are. And now that Converse is connected to Desmond, Converse is now supporting child abuse. That's the way that I look at it, and that's the way that everybody else should. Time to boycott Converse if you're somebody who wears Converse. And you're into, you know, high tops and basketball shoes. Well, guess what? Time to light them on fire and boycott Converse. It says many Twitter reactions to the announcement focus on the exploitation of 11-year-old Desmond, which some commentators linked See, the exploitation of workers in Nike sweatshops. Well, I I mean, this is just, somebody wrote, congratulations on enabling child abuse here in America to go along with the children making your crummy shoes in sweatshops overseas. Well said to this guy, John Hawkins. Couldn't agree more. Someone else posted, what they are doing to that child is abuse. Children aren't supposed to be sexy. That's disgusting. Get a grip. Can't agree more. And then some LGBT advocates were disgusted that Converse was trying to appeal to buyers through the use of children. 
It's really painful trying to advocate for LGBT positively when you see actual child sexualization lumped into it like a tumor. Whatever clueless executive side off on this should be ashamed. Couldn't agree more. Now take a look here at the actual product line. I mean, I, I wish I could say how I feel about some of the, I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I think I speak for everyone. You can see the, obviously the use of the rainbow, but look at this. We know the pentagram, like I said, obviously Converse is, you know, how many companies need to use the star before people realize that this is a symbol of the occult? And that's why they just keep using it, right? If you got hired at Converse, wouldn't you say, well, the star, when I think of the star, I think of the Dallas Cowboys or the Dallas Stars, the hockey team. Or, uh, you know, I think of Starbucks or all these companies that use the star in their logo. Just a plain old star, you know? What did somebody just point that out and say, hey, maybe we should do something different and original? And it's the same, like I said, the Celine Dion, her line, same symbols, right? Pentagrams, rainbows, and lightning bolts. That's it. That's all it is. Wow, real creative work, Converse. I've never seen the lightning bolt before. Did you get it from David Bowie's stylish collection? Or Lady Barf Bag? Wonder what it represents. Are you going for the ACDC or the KISS look? Or are you just flat out saying that you're Gatorade now because you have a lightning bolt on a shirt? Because they use the lightning bolt too. Boy, real original stuff, folks. And the people who work at places like Converse and are the marketing executives are making probably a million dollars a year. They're at least making half a million. Or upwards to half a million. You think maybe they're there to come up with creative ideas. No. This is how the Matrix works. It promotes all of the occult symbols over and over through repetition. Nobody says boo. Nobody questions it. It promotes nonsense like this where they're rolling out an 11-year-old boy dressed in drag. And they're trying to market shoes to you. And saying, oh, shouldn't we, shouldn't we all be so proud of Converse that they're doing this? People aren't buying it. It's like I said in a couple of videos recently, talking about how they're boycotting, you know, YouTubers like myself. They try to block you. They try to demonetize you. And I said, this isn't going to work for them because this is going to wake more people up. They just have to deal with it. And realize that people are going to wake up. But the more attention they shine on it, the more pushback they're going to get. And that's what's happening. The same with this. They're pushing too hard. They thought all of a sudden because they got the, you know, the LGBT pushed down everyone's throats where they're in every town doing parades and pride and all this nonsense. And people have accepted that. That suddenly they can come out. And they could go, okay, well, now we're doing transgender story hour. And then stories are coming out where you find out that the trans story hour, that the, the trans people, or the drag queens who are reading stories to kids happen to have criminal backgrounds as sex offenders. What a surprise. What a shock. Nobody's surprised. And now what's the target? What are they targeting now? Well, now they're trying to tell you that 10-year-old boys should be used in marketing campaigns, sexualized. And you know what it's doing? It's causing an awakening. Because even people who consider themselves liberal are disgusted by it. And Converse should be ashamed. And the parents of this child should be in prison where they belong. It's funny how we see these stories about parents who don't allow their kids to pick their gender. I've covered this before. It's true. In Ohio, in Canada, this has happened. Where the child was so upset, he took the parents to court. And the, the parents lost custody of their child because they wouldn't let the child who was a boy decide it wanted to be a girl. Insanity. And this is what they're pushing on everyone. Sexualizing young boys who cross-dress, and the parents should be imprisoned. I mean, this is just embarrassing. This is Converse, folks. We got Converse now going with the, uh, you know, the, 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 the gender stuff, just like the Celine Dion. And again, pentagrams, lightning bolts, and the hijacked rainbow, which they stole from Scripture. They stole the rainbow, 
to turn it into their LGBT thing because that's what they do. They mock our father in heaven. Well, guess what? He's not going to be mocked much longer. And there is an awakening happening right now as we speak. And it's crap like this that they think they're going to get away with, but they're getting a little too greedy or they're getting a little too cocky. And they're going, if we could, we could put anything, push anything we want, and people will accept it. Well, that might be true. But when you start messing with children, that's where people start to draw the line and wake up. And that's why satanic ritual abuse is so important for them to never mention it in the media. Because if people find out that there's these murders and kidnappings about children and that there's satanic rituals and this stuff going on, people are going to snap out of this trance. That's exactly what McMartin did. That's exactly what these other cases did, and that's why they had to create the PSYOP of satanic panic. So people are catching on. They're seeing stuff like this. It's absolutely nauseating. Converse should be boycotted. Tweet at them. Don't wear their products. Obviously, they won't go out of business because they're all owned by the same satanic puppets. They just do their bidding for one another. But this is an absolute disgrace. America is turning into a cesspool. Already is. Welcome to 2019. Unbelievable. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.